Hey everyone, it's Melissa. It is Sunday morning and I usually don't get to film on Sunday because I always do a big Sunday dinner, but we're uh, cooking out today, we're grilling out, so I don't have quite as much to do because we're gonna have baked sweet potatoes and a salad, so I can do all that later. So I thought, well, I'll just do a video. I'm gonna talk about two things today. The first one is Lani Cream to Powder Makeup. Uh, it is terrific, and I wanted to give it a little love. And this next one, well, here's a hint. Okay, everybody, <clears throat> grab yourself a cup of coffee or a cup of tea, or if you're across the pond, a glass of wine or a glass of champagne, and let's get going. So, does that give you a hint? It's Natalie, the beauty diva. Of course, everybody knows who she is. Uh, she had a giveaway recently, and I won that giveaway. And so, uh, it came, it was wonderful, but there's a little more drama involved with it. It's got a little bit of a story, so be sure and stay tuned for that. But first, I'm gonna talk about this uh, Milani Foundation. Let me go back a little bit. When I first started doing YouTube, uh, I started in 2013, and I was using a cream to powder foundation from Merle Norman. <clears throat> I just absolutely loved it. Uh, whenever I first started doing the full Obagi with all the Retin-A and the harsh chemicals and everything, I peeled like, oh my goodness, like you wouldn't believe. And so I would use this um, cream to powder foundation and it would really, really, I would just put it on and it would just buff away the, the flaking and stuff like that. And I would, uh, throughout the day, I would touch up with it and stuff. And um, of course they discontinued it and they came out with another product that they said was replacing it, but it didn't because it didn't have the powder part in it. I am very fond, I don't wear powders over my skin. Um, I just like to put on my makeup and I don't know, for my skin, powder just kind of settles into the lines and wrinkles and I like a little bit more of a glow. I like the idea of a cream to powder because it gives sort of the powder finish without it really looking too, too dry on my skin. So, uh, you know, I happily used that foundation for years. Well, of course, you know, they discontinued it. And then I replaced it with uh, one that did not have the powder in it. So needless to say, getting comfortable. So needless to say, I was very disappointed um, because, you know, I would have to use a powder with it. Well, that defeated the whole thing, the whole purpose of the whole foundation to me. So I started researching. I thought about it. Uh, in the meantime, I've been using my Laura Mercier Silk Cream Foundation. Love it, love it, recommend it. It's my number one product. I really, really do like it. But I started thinking about that foundation. I thought, I wonder if there's other cream to powder foundations because I really like them. They're really, really good. And I started doing some research and I came up with one from Milani. It's the cream to powder. It's just called cream to powder makeup. And as you can see, I've used the heck out of it. I have more than hit pan. And what I do, it comes with a little round sponge. What I do is um, I use the sponge on both sides until it is just dirty. And, you know, I use a clean part. And I, uh, then I throw it away. I buy those packs of sponges that fit in here. And then I'll throw it away and start all over again. I don't even worry about washing it. Uh, I'll just use it a few times. Those sponges I get at CVS and they're cheap. And I'll use it front and back and I get quite a few uses out of it. Throw it away and start all over again. Because I, I tried washing it first, but I never could really get the foundation out of it. It always sunk into it and, I, and it would dry with that discoloration on it and it looked like still some of the foundation was in it and it just kind of grossed me out. So I just wanted a clean one all the time. <clears throat> so right now, I'm going to kind of give you, uh, show you what the coverage looks like because I've got some red skin going on. As you can see, my skin is very inflamed, um, very red from, um, I had gone off the retin-A while, oh, not retin-A, retinol while I was at the beach because I knew my um, skin would be more sensitive to the sun. So I'm back on it now and it's kind of like I have to start over again. So it's peely, uh, it's red and kind of angry looking. So I want to cover that up. And this just really does a good job 
Um, there it is again. And I've used a ton of it. And I really think it does a great job of covering up flaws. And it just leaves a great finish that will just last you all day long. I, I really like this a lot. So as you can see from that little clip, it really, really does a good job of coverage and the price. Uh, for that Merle Norman, I would pay $32 to $35 uh, every time I'd run through it. And this was $8. I believe I got it at Walgreens. I looked it up on the Walgreens site, and I believe it was $8.79, if I remember correctly. So that's a huge price point difference between $8.79 and $35. And I was gladly paying $35 for something that I really loved. Well, not gladly, but, you know, I was paying $35 for something that I loved. So I, to me, this is more than worth the $8.79. It's if you think that you would like that kind of finish where you would like a powdery, sort of a powdery type finish without really having the powder over it, I would really, um, I really think that you should give this a look. I wanted to uh, really, really show it some love because I think it's a terrific foundation. I think for the price and uh, the colors, mine is 07 medium beige. There were plenty of colors. I think that it was, um, I think it's a really good deal, and I think it's one really worth trying, and maybe it might become your holy grail. It's a, it's a good foundation. Okay, now to the second part. I, like I said before, I won a video, a, a giveaway from Natalie the Beauty Diva, and of course I will link her channel below. At first, I want to say a few things about Natalie. She's French-Canadian. She's absolutely stunning. She's got that French way about her that... <clears throat> I try to emulate, but I just never be able to master. Uh, she can do things like put a scarf on and just throw on a jacket, and uh, she just looks elegant and like put together and classic and beautiful. And oh, it's just such a it's just such a beautiful look she has. She knows how to put her jewelry together, her accessories, and she just makes it look so effortless. And she's just so sweet and kind. And I do have to say this, Natalie, you are about the most supportive YouTube person out there. You really are, <clears throat> especially for our age group. You always come in, you watch everyone's videos, you encourage, you support, and, um, as someone who does YouTube videos, you know, that is invaluable. You have no idea, people have no idea how important that is to have so much encouragement and to see these people commenting on your videos and say, good job, I really like that, you did, you did well. So, I want to thank you for myself, Natalie, and for everyone else for always being so encouraging to all of us, especially the... Um, more mature ladies, the more mature YouTubers. We all thank you so much for doing that. So this is what I want. The big thing I want, I will show you in a minute. Well, the big thing I want is, and there's a story behind it, is a Sephora gift card. I am so excited. It's a very, very generous gift card. I can't wait to try it. And Kristen, Miss Kristen321, we're going to have to go shopping because this is going to burn a hole in my pocket and I can't wait to spend it and I'll show everyone what I got. So Natalie, so generous, so kind. I'm very blessed. Thank you so much. So I was just so excited to get this, but she threw in some extra stuff. She threw in this beautiful bracelet. I wore it yesterday and it is just gorgeous. It's got the, the pearls like on one side and the... Um, the clear beads on the other, and then the gold in the middle with the charms on it. And I absolutely love it. She sent me a beautiful card, and it says Patty on it. So, is this Patty Rockstar Mom? Because I know she paints, but it's a beautiful card. So, uh, let me know if you would, Natalie, because 
that's gorgeous. I love that. And uh, tons and tons of uh, masks. I just love them. So I'm anxious to try them. I'm going to do a spa day tonight. Natalie always does a spa days on Sundays. So I'm going to soak in another product. It, she gave me some Epsom salts that were coconut and lemon. Oh my goodness. Smells so good. I am so excited. So that's going to be on my spa today. I'm going to use one of my masks. She gave me vitamin C. She gave me all kinds of berries, chia seed. Um, and I thought this was really neat. It was a lip mask. Isn't that cute? So I'm really anxious to try that. I think that that, you know, I might save that one for the winter time here. When I go outside and lick my lips and stuff in an eye mask. So I am set for masks and soaking in my bathtub in my salts. And also this, uh, the, the peel-off mask, the black yeast peel-off mask. So I am so set and just, it's going to take me into fall and I'm so excited. It's going to really, really uh, be such a treat for me. She sent me some body washes and she sent me two of these and it's in the, the other ones. I ran out of body wash, so I started it on this one. Uh, the other one, she sent me two of them. They're the Eve. Uh, Rocher. Yves Rocher. I don't speak French. I remember looking it up on the pronunciation. That's how I heard was Yves, Yves Rocher. So that's what I'm going to go with. But I got two of those. Uh, and oh, it smells so wonderful. It's a lavender. It just smells delicious. And then this is a cream cleanser. Uh, it's, and I can't wait to try it. It is for, it's violet and purple rice. So, oh, it smells delicious too. Oh my goodness, that smells good. Wow, it smells good. And uh, Penso, which is a lavender too. Ooh, I'm almost, oh my goodness, that smells wonderful, lavender. I'm almost through with my hand soap now, so I've got this set aside to use next. Can't wait to use it. Just, you know, I'm so grateful, Natalie. Thank you so much. But the gift card. Okay, so this is what... I was very, very upset, and here's why. Okay, so I got the stuff at the office. We get all our mail at the office. I got the stuff. I came home. I was sitting on the couch, and so I was unwrapping everything. And, oh, just, oh, look at all these masks. And, you know, I was just doing everything. I love the bracelet, you know, just going through it and just oohing and all over everything. And so I got my gift card, and so I thought, um, okay, I'm going to put it in a safe place because I want to make sure that, uh, you know, nothing happens to it. So I, I got everything, and then I got a phone call from one of my kids, and they said, such and such has happened, you know, I, I need your help. So I, okay, I'll get right over there. So I picked up everything, and I put it on the dining room table so that the dog wouldn't get to it. So I went and did my thing, and then came back and, uh, you know, put on my uh, masks and brought them upstairs and went through them and kind of sorted them. And my bath salts I put beside my tub so that I could use them. And then... Um, Day before yesterday, I thought, you know, I'll make sure that, uh, you know, I'll look in my purse and put the uh, gift card in my billfold. Well, I couldn't find it. And I couldn't find it. So I went outside to the outside trash can, the big trash can. I turned it literally upside down and got everything out. I went through every item one at a time. I shook everything out. In the meantime, by this time, I was really starting to panic and, uh, you know, was about to cry. So I shook everything out. Uh, I found the, <clears throat> the papers that Natalie had wrapped everything in. I went through it with, the, you know, everything. And so just did all that, nothing. Put all the garbage back up again. Came back in, looked at the couch. I remembered I had to open it on the couch. So went through the couch. Went behind the couch, got a flashlight, went under the couch. So I got down in there, got inside the pillows, and got underneath it. So I texted Kristen, and I was just so upset, you know, because I tell Kristen everything. And I was so upset, and I said, well, you know, I'm so upset I have lost this. Of course, I can't tell Natalie, you know. Uh, I'll just have to pretend like, you know, I'm spending the gift card. And, oh, I was just upset. So then uh, Doug came home, and so... He said, well, it's got to be here, and I was just all upset. So we looked through the couch again. He said, where were you? I said, I was sitting on this couch, and I was trying to keep it safe. I thought I'd put it in my purse. 
And so we looked through the couch again. He got the thing, and I was standing there going like this. And when I looked down, I looked on the floor, and there it was. All that time, Oliver had been playing with it. What had happened when I um, opened up the big box, I took the gift card and I thought, I'm gonna keep it safe. I'm gonna put it on this table here. And then when I left, you know, I picked everything up except the gift card, because I had put it in a separate place, and put it all on the table. And um, he had jumped up on that little table that I put the gift card on and had been playing with it for two days and hadn't heard it at all. Look at that, perfect. I was so relieved that I just about started crying. So uh, that is the drama. This little gift card has just been through it. Oliver has taken it all around and played with it. And if I just hadn't, in agony, I looked down. If I just hadn't happened to look down at that moment, I wouldn't have seen it. So uh, that's, the, that's the drama of the gift card. Thank you so much, Natalie. I really appreciate it. And I'm putting it in my purse right now in my little zip compartment and zipping it up. So Christian, when we shop, that's where it is, in my purse in the zip compartment, in case I forget. Thank you so much again, Natalie. Be sure and watch her videos. Uh, you will not be disappointed. She does such a wonderful job and she's such a beautiful woman. And thank you all so much for watching. Sorry this is so long, but uh, I had a lot to say. So I hope everyone has a wonderful week that is full of blessings.